Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another lecture with Miss Krug. Today we are going to be looking at Civil War, specifically the human side of the Civil War. Now we've already discussed the causes of the Civil War, what each side was hoping to gain out of the Civil War, and we've discussed a little bit about unions versus the Confederates. So we're going to spend the majority of this lecture talking specifically about these two brothers, William and Clifton Prentiss, in order to get an idea of the devastations that many of the families faced during the Civil War. So now if you're where I'm at, we're going to be traveling from San Diego all the way over to Maryland and then down into some of the 13 colony states. And in order to do that, we have to actually travel in time also. So we're going to be traveling to 1857. So if you guys can all hop into your time machines and I will meet you there. The Civil War has often called, been called a Brothers' War, and for a good reason. Hostilities between North and South split states apart and fractured families by pitting father against son and brother against brother, often with tragic consequences. A family in Baltimore was a case in point. Two brothers, Clifton and William Prentice, became estranged in 1857 over the slavery question. They parted ways in anger, as did many of their fellow Marylanders. When war came, 25-year-old Clifton Prentice joined the 6th Maryland Union Regiment. William, three years younger, enlisted in the 2nd Maryland, the Confederate Regiment. So now you have these two brothers. They're on their own. They're with their armies. You have Clifton, who is with the Union, so that's the North, and he is fighting to make it so that slavery is no longer happening, and then you have William, who's in the South, who's now fighting for their economic rights, which relied heavily on slavery. So take a moment really quick, you guys, and I want you guys to think about some of your siblings and your family and your friends, and I want you guys to think about a time when you guys were angry at them. Just really, really angry at them. It could be about anything. Just kind of picture that anger that you had for two seconds. Now stop. And imagine never getting to see them again after you experienced that anger. You didn't get to say, I'm sorry. You didn't get to laugh it off. You didn't get to give them a hug. You didn't get to give them a high five or anything like that. You just felt that anger and that was the last time you saw them for four years. And that right now is where our brothers are at. So now it's been four years and now we're going to talk about them finally reuniting. Are you guys ready? Okay, so early on the morning of April 2nd, 1865, General Grant launched a massive attack on General Robert E. Lee's lines at Pittsburgh. Taking part in that grand assault was Major Clifton Prentiss, who led Federals of the 6th Maryland over the Confederate works. Prentiss was urging his men forward in pursuit of their foes, who were pulling back, when a bullet struck him in his chest. Two soldiers took him to an improvised field hospital nearby. Others in his regiment then went through the battlefield to separate the wounded from the dead. They came upon a Confederate soldier with a horribly mangled leg. Federals sought to make the man comfortable. To their surprise, he asked if, there, if the 6th Maryland was close by. We belong to that regiment, one of the Federals answered. I have a brother in that regiment, the Confederate replied. Captain Clifton Prentiss. I am William Prentiss of the 2nd Maryland. Why, Captain Prentiss is our major now, and he is lying over yonder wounded. With pain from the shattered leg almost blinding him, William managed to say, I would like to see him. A soldier ran to where Clifton laid, injured, and told him of William's request. However, 
Clifton replied, I want to see no man who fired at my country's flag. However, when Clifton's colonel heard what was going on, he ordered them to actually take Clifton over to his brother on the battlefield. And Clifton, at first, he looked at his younger brother, and he was so angry at him that anger was still in his heart. And then the most beautiful thing happened. William took out his hand and offered it to Clifton, and Clifton grabbed it, and they were crying, and they were smiling, and you could tell how much they missed each other, and in that short-lived reunion, everyone around them was just, was just in awe of this moment, because they all felt it, this, this anger, and this hatred that had been in our country for so long, and you could just see it in this one moment, the way they remembered, hey, we are brothers at the end of the day. All right, you guys, so now we're going to head back to our time and then kind of debrief what we just went through and what we just experienced, and I will meet you guys back in San Diego in the year 2019. So the reason we went through this story, you guys, is because it shows one instance when this devastation in this um, war really took hold of an entire family. So some of the takeaways from the lecture today are that Civil War was devastating to the United States because 618,222 people died and it tore apart siblings, families, states, and the country. Now. When we're looking further into the Civil War, it's important to keep these stories in your in your heads and in your hearts to truly understand the devastation. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.